In this video, I'm going to review the Cherry MX Silent Keyboard, also known as the G80-3494. Cherry has been making computer keyboards since the early 70s, and mostly everyone today knows them for their patented Cherry MX switches, which emerged in the mid-80s. As some of you might know, each color denotes a different handling characteristic. Cherry MX switches were used by other manufacturers, and since the expiration of their patent at around 2016, Many companies now have the option to manufacture their own Cherry MX-like switches without using Cherry's official switches. However, there have been mock Cherry MX switches all over the market, and I'm pretty sure Cherry MX's connections and deals with major computer manufacturers wouldn't hinder the monopoly they have over the keyboard market. The Cherry MX Silent Keyboard, as you can guess, is entirely manufactured by Cherry, from the housing to the keys. Some would say that this keyboard is a successor of the G83000 line that Cherry has been manufacturing since the turn of the millennium. This keyboard has two variants, one using the silent black switches which are grayer in color, and this one using the silent red switches which are more pink in color. The silent black switches were hard to come by, so I decided to settle with the silent red switches. Now I'm not going to bore you with the technical aspects of what makes these keys more silent than their traditional counterparts, but all I'm going to say is that these keys are in a way dampened to have less noise when you bottom out as well as top out the key back to its neutral position. This keyboard does an extremely well job at diminishing those noises. As far as what is advertised with the silent switches, I can say that I am impressed by how much softer they sound compared to the MX Blues for example. Now listen to the Eagle Tech KG010 with essentially Cherry MX Blue switches. The blue switches are a lot clicky with that tacky noise and more thumpy with a short thump even on the spacebar. While on the Cherry MX Silent keyboard, the spacebar has a more subdued rattle that is less loud when you impact it with little or no force as compared to slamming it down and bottoming it out.
Now from the audio, the keyboard does tend to have a small rattle, but that is nothing you really notice while typing. And in fact, the keys I feel as if are really sturdy and stiff, sitting well in their place. Now a lot of the times this could be a quality control issue that messes the key placements, but I guess I got lucky on this one. Overall, as you can see, the layout is extremely basic, and that was the intended look and feel of this keyboard to begin with. If you are buying this not knowing that there are any macro keys, then you are clearly not understanding who this keyboard is for. Can you game on this? I would say no. The keys can be actuated way too easily. In fact, sometimes by just resting my hands on the keys, I can push down a key and even initiate it. So I would say this is more for a school or work typist who needs to get work done in a quiet work area or house environment with others around him, such as in a dorm or any multi-person bedroom. This keyboard is really quiet and someone can barely hear you typing sending several feet away. But again, this also depends on how rough you type. You can type almost extremely stealth quiet and you could barely register the keystrokes, which is better. But if you type hard, then this is still better in my opinion than any other of the MX switches, but you'll still hear a louder noise as if you were typing quiet. As far as build quality is concerned, when you have the keyboard sitting down, it feels sturdy enough. The keys are made out of ABS plastic and the housing is plastic polymer. If I press on any of the plastic housing while it is in its position, you can barely hear anything. Now if we try to bend the entire keyboard, it isn't as loud as how other reviewers demonstrated it was. This keyboard has no screws anywhere on it. The only way to open it up and access the inside, let's say to clean it, would be to prick open a bunch of clips around the keyboard. Now the positive to this is that you don't need any tools to get in, but you know, who doesn't have a screwdriver laying around? So I would say this is probably just a cost cutting measure. And as you can guess, yes, these clips can break off, so I'm not even going to bother attempting to open it. The keyboard is connected through a small hole cut from the open lining surrounding the keyboard. The cable is simple, straight, USB cable with the USB to PS2 included in the box. So I would say that the build quality on this keyboard is not bad. It is kept minimal, but to be honest, the hefty $140 price tag should have shown a little bit more attention on at least the housing quality. I understand how they wanted to keep everything minimal with nothing too extravagant, but simple should not mean cheaper. Overall, if you're looking for a classic looking but legitimately new keyboard that has a bonus silent feature, yeah, I would recommend it. But for everyone else, I would not.